customer called us this week and said that they had an existing radon mitigation system um, that had kind of stopped working. They had called another company. Uh, the other company came out, they looked at the system, they advised uh, installing a bigger fan, said that would work. It did not lower the radon. Uh, they got the radon test back, the radon was still high. So then they did some additional testing. They cycled the fan off and retested. The radon was even higher, it was around 12. So they turned the system back on, retested again. The radon was still at eight. Um, so after all that, the company said, hey, we need to do some additional work and it's gonna cost more money. At that point, the customer called us and said, hey, do you have a better approach? Can you figure out what's going on, why this isn't working? And so we're gonna go take a look at that system today. We're gonna figure out exactly why it's not working and I'm gonna show you how we're gonna fix it. Oh, here is the fan up in the attic. This is the original fan that the other company put in. Um, we've got a GX5 fan uh, on the three inch pipe and we come down, we hit a 90, second 90, third 90, a fourth 90. Um, and then there's a whole bunch of other 90s and 45s on the way below. So there's a lot happening in this pipe. There's a lot of resistance in the piping. Uh, let's go take a look in the basement and see what's happening down there. So here is uh, the manometer with the GX5 fan installed on it. So again, um, this was originally installed by another company. Um, and then a second company came in and switched out the fan. Um, and they put on a, a high a high suction fan uh, for the system. And you can see that it's like negligible pressure. So let's take a look at the floor pressures um, and we'll kind of figure out and troubleshoot why this isn't working. So this is test point A. This is right here beside the radon vent pipes. You can see there's a vent pipe over there. I mean, we're like, I don't know, seven feet away from it. And very, very negligible. Negative Yeah, so we're at test point B. And I mean, this is like no pressure. This is easily overpowered. So why do we still have radon in the house? Well, we're, we're not creating any pressure field extension on the underside of the slab. Um, so we've probably got radon entering at the remote parts of this home. We've got a test fan on in the attic right now. Um, originally, we took and removed this. This was just kind of set into the, the hole that the company had poured through the slab. So we were able to pull that right out, put our test fan right here on the on the pit. And um, we had minus 55.6 pascals. And so um, we then, and, and it was about three inches across the fan. So it's pretty leaky. It was a very leaky system. Um, and our, our pressure right there was minus 55. Then we took and put the fan in the attic um, and now we are at minus 25 pascals. So we've lost 30 pascals right here, just in the three inch piping. Um, so why does airflow matter? Why is that important? It's because right now we're using the wrong size diameter pipe. So whoever put this in, they're using the wrong diameter pipe. And if they had gone with like a four inch diameter pipe, probably don't have as much pressure drop. You've got better suction on the floor and you're getting more pressure field extension out to the remote parts of this home. So again, we're here uh, at another test point. Uh, this was originally 2.5, just at the pit. And um, now we've gone, we've decreased uh, by about an, you know one Pascal. We've cut it in half in essence is what we've done. So the resistance in the piping is the limiting factor here and the leakage, the airflow is what's causing that. And so we have a lot of airflow. We've got a ton of leakage and um, this is where it's coming from. There's a basement gutter around here uh, and the top edge of this is not sealed. So we need a seal. We need to shore up that part. We need to seal everything. We need to increase the diameter and we need to change the fan. The, the company that came out here, they put on a GX5 a high pressure fan. We need a high airflow fan. That's what we need here. We need a high airflow fan. We need to do some sealing. And then we could possibly turn that fan down uh, so that we're not um, wasting as much energy and uh, inefficiency.